Alright, hi guys. I'm going to uh, teach you how to do a little hack here with uh, Hydra using Backtrack 5. So first I'm going to open my virtual machine. Power this on here. Uh, Hydra specializes in online attacks. And we're going to hack a sample website that's made for this sort of thing. Going to skip the update for now. All right, so the login for Backtrack 5 is root, and the password is tor, which is root backwards. Then we're going to start x to get to the desktop. So while that's loading, uh, this is the site that we're going to hack. Uh, they tell you the username and password already but we're going to act as if we don't know them. Uh, so I'm going to click here to log in, and it's just going to give me a little pop-up box asking for the username and password. If I get it right, it's going to say, you know, congratulations, you hacked the page. If not, then it's going to give me an error. So here's the typical login box you might see on any website. Uh, Backtrack 5 is loaded, so we're going to go into the applications. Uh, Backtrack, this is a privilege escalation tool. It's a password attack, and it specializes in online attacks. And here's the Hydra command line. So if we enlarge this here, you'll be able to see all the different options that you have. I'm going to be using a few of these. Uh, up here is just the syntax for an attack so you can use that to reference if you want so the first thing I need to tell the command line is this is going to be a Hydra attack uh, dash L is going to look for a, a literal string login that's dash lowercase l and we're going to try to hack the root account so root is going to be our username and then for password, it's going to be dash capital P. And what dash capital P does is it gives us a file name, or we're going to give it a file name rather. And that's going to be our, our uh, dictionary. So our file is under, if I can read it here, it's in the pen test folder, password, word lists, and we call it test.txt. So that's the file that I can show you in a minute that just has some sample passwords in it. And what Hydra is going to do is run through those passwords and try all of them. And it'll tell you if one of them works. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is dash capital V, which is verbose mode. As you can see up here, it's going to show every combination for each attempt. So it's going to show you exactly what it tries, so you know uh, which combination actually works. Uh, next thing we need to do is dash lowercase s and give it the port number, which is port 80, the default port used for uh, browsing the internet websites. Uh, after that, we're going to give it the server, which is just going to be this web address. You can see it's attack.samsclass.info. Space. And the last thing we need to give it is the uh, protocol. 
which is HTTP dash get. And some people like to put this brute zero at the end. I don't think it's necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, so we're going to see all of these attacks here. So the first attempt, root and admin. Admin is straight from the password file. And that didn't work, so it's just going to keep attempting until something does work. And we see down here it says status attack finished. So we can see up here login was root and the password was password. So after it tried that, after it made that attempt, the attack finished. So if we go in here and type in root as the username as we originally intended and then password we'll see if it works and it should because as we can see here it sort of tells you the password anyway well that's loading just a few things to keep in mind here with your uh, syntax Uh, you need to make sure that you're doing a lowercase l if you're going to give it a username. Uh, you can brute force the login as well. Uh, you would need to do the uppercase l just like it's specified up here. Same thing we did with the password. So dash capital L if you give it a file dash lowercase l if you're going to give it a literal string for a login. Same thing with password. If you know the password but don't know the login, you can give it the password as a literal string or you could give it a password file assuming you don't know the password. Uh, just some other options that you might find useful. Dash e will check for uh, null strings and what that means is essentially if somebody doesn't have a password it's not going to try a bunch of passwords if it can just you know hit enter and log you in so uh, I definitely utilize verbose mode if especially if you're having trouble uh, this I mean obviously we wouldn't know what the login or password was without verbose mode. Uh, I think that's it. Let's check back in. And there we go. So we win. We hacked the username and password. And it's really just that easy. Uh, so if you guys have any questions on this video or uh, how to use Backtrack 5 or Hydra in general, Feel free to ask after our presentation. Thank you.